welcome back to my channel my name is Nicole and today I want to do another fun video I don't know exactly what to call it I don't want to say it's a craft I guess I would say it's like a fun little kit for like kids to do but it's gonna be fun so today we're gonna do we're gonna make some glow in the dark power balls yay um i've seen colleen ballinger um do this in a video a while back ago um and i was like i want to do this so we're gonna do it now obviously i already had the box open and i already opened the pouch that has all the goodies in it because I needed to read the instructions to make sure I have everything that I needed for it. So it's basically pretty easy. Um, the kit includes a round mold, a hexagon mold, 16 bags of crystals, and two bags of glow-in-the-dark crystals. And then um, you're going to need... A cup, some scrap paper, some water, and a reusable bag. Okay, so step one would be to decide the shape and colors that I want to make. So, let's see what we have first. We have some pink, some yellow, some orange, I think white, green, purple, more white, more yellow, more purple, blue, and a different shade of orange and then of course we have our two molds so i think i'm actually going to do one of each mold so we have the round the round mold and then we have the hexagon mold all right so do I want to do multicolored balls or do I want to do singular balls? That is the question. Um, I think... You know what, we're going to do a pink and purple ball. And then we're going to do a green and blue ball. How about that? what we're gonna do okay let's the other colors out of the way okay so we already figured out what we're gonna do so we're gonna snap the molds together so obviously the round goes with the round and the hexagon goes with the hexagon we're just gonna half of it together why isn't the other half going together eh. okay so I got the round one it's a very very hard guys it's very eh, <laughs> to do this the hexagon one I'm having more issues with because it doesn't want to cooperate okay so there you go okay okay i figured it out now okay we are together molds are together okay oh that was so difficult okay um now we're gonna pour the crystals into the funnel which is the top part and over the mold okay i need scissors i got my scissors Okay. Oh. Okay. So I figured out which one 
ones are the glow in the dark packets. Any of the packets that have a G on it are glow in the dark. So do I want to add glow in the dark colors? Maybe I'll make some more off camera like Colleen did. So we can experiment a little bit more. But we'll just stick with the two for now. Okay. Okay, so pour crystals into the funnel on the top of the ball mold, mold, not mold, mold, and then do not fill the tunnel part of the mold all the way to the top or the ball will not bounce. Okay, so I think we'll do the hexagon purple and pink, purple and pink, and then we'll do... The round one green and blue okay so we're gonna start off with the purple and there are holes in it but I don't think it'll do anything okay so now we need some pink some pink Quality content. Hey y'all. Okay. Go back in again with some purple. Okay, so we're going to put that one off to the side. Now it's time to do the round one. And I did... Ooh, this one must be really packed in because it doesn't want to... Alright, well, we'll figure it out. Okay. I did put some newspaper down just in case it was messy because you just never know sometimes. green in there. Oh well. Put a little bit more blue. Okay. They are filled with the powders. Okay. part of the mold carefully and carefully and place the filled mold in a cup while holding the mold fill the cup with warm water until the water is above the top of the ball mold let the mold sit in the water for 10 minutes okay you guys so I have the water them in the thing and I'm gonna leave them in for 10 minutes and then eh, we'll come back and we will check them out. And maybe since I have so many, I will keep making them until we have a successful bouncing ball. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and we're going to pull the molds out of 
the water and then we're going to carefully open them up and it says that they're going to be a little tacky at first and that we should let them dry the balls dry before we try to bounce them or see if they bounce oh no it's a question going am i going to oh there we go Come out. Come out. Ooh. I over, well, I didn't overfill it. Um, it, the powder kind of expanded a little bit once. Ugh. I don't like the texture of it. Ugh. Whoopsies. We're gonna let these dry. I'm gonna make some more actually. Cause this is really fun. Okay. So I'm gonna let them dry. I'm gonna make some more and then we will come back when we're able to test their bounciness of them. So guys, it has been a few days. Um since I last, you know, since I started making these balls. Um, I made a couple of them off camera. They didn't take that long to make, but I had to let them dry before I can bounce them. So I actually have six balls. I have, here, I'll show you them individually. So I have a blue and green ball, pink and purple, purple and blue, and a pink and green ball. And then of course I did make two glow in the dark ones as well. And so yeah, so now I'm going to test them out. Let's see how well they bounce. And of course, we are going to test the glow in the dark balls to see if they actually glow in the dark. Okay. Let's do this. Ready? That did not bounce. <laughs> okay, so this one kind of did. I know you guys didn't see it. Let me see if I can... Didn't catch it, but it bounced. <laughs> All right, let's try a hexagon one. I'm gonna try this, ready? That did not bounce for anything. All right, let's try the glow in the dark one. It bounced. Okay, so the hexagon one bounced, but because it's not round, it bounced a short distance and then bounced off ricocheted onto a chair. Okay, let's try this one. <gasps> you have to kind of like, bye. <laughs> you have to kind of bounce them really hard. They've also been sitting out for a couple of days, so I don't know if that causing them to not bounce very well. The hexagon balls don't bounce very well. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have the two glow-in-the-dark balls. I'm going to turn off all my kitchen lights and we're going to see if it actually glows in the dark. Okay, I know you guys can't see me, but I had to turn off literally all of my lights in my apartment so that um, you guys can try to see the balls. So, as you can see, they're kind of glowing, but they're not... If I take them away from the camera, they do not glow in the dark. But this is what they... 
look like. They're not glowing. They look like they're glowing, but they're not. It's just the light from the camera, from the viewfinder, reflecting off of them. Because if I take it away from the camera, where there is no light, I cannot see them very well. They're very, very faint, the glow is. Yeah. So they're very faint. I don't know if it's because normally sometimes glow in the dark stuff you have to stick them in the light and sunlight for them to charge to glow. I don't know. But it was fun. They're very easy to make. Um, and stuff. But the hexagon ones do not bounce very well. So, okay, so this mold right here is what makes the hexagon um, bouncy balls. Does not bounce very well. The other ones kind of bounced very, a little bit. I don't know, again, if the bounciness is affected by how long you keep them out. Um, if they're supposed to be stored properly to keep them bouncy enough. I don't know, I didn't look at the instructions. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked this video, I'd give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see any other types of videos, let me know in the comment section below. You can also let me know on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. All those links will be in the description below. And again, guys, if you guys follow me on any of my social media platforms or message me, snap me, Instagram me, whatever, follow me. I will respond back. I will follow you back. Also in the comment section below, I will follow back. Um, I did notice there was a comment on one of my videos that... It showed up like in the notifications, but when I went to go click on it to reply, that comment did not exist in the comment section of the video. So, if I don't respond, that's probably why. <laughs> um, I, it's, it's very weird. It's like the first time this ever happened to me so far since I made this channel. So, yeah. If if there's any other types of videos you guys like to see me do, or even with Angela when she comes home this summer, um, well, let me know as well. And with that, oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe so you, and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video because I post new videos every Monday and Friday. A regular video like this on Monday and a vlog on Friday. And with that, I love you guys. I will see you next time. Peace.